Hey guys, it's Jessica and I am back with another DIY video. This time I'm going to be making a Halloween wreath using only materials from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree is my hot glue gun, um, but everything else including the glue sticks I did pick up at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I scoured the Halloween section and picked up a few gems. So I got that yard sign that says Wicked. I got my foam wreath shape of course. I picked up two boas, so two feather boas from the the Halloween costume section um, and then that one package of the butterfly clips um, so they come with little clips already attached and you can just clip them right onto your project which makes for super easy crafting um, so what I decided I wanted to do was make a really um, dark queen sort of wreath for this Halloween decor. Um, so I am using that awesome boa in black with the gold flex um, to coat my wreath shape. That way I don't have that green showing through. Um, and the cool thing is I thought this looked kind of like rave, uh, raven feathers or um, I don't know, it just gave me that dark queen sort of vibe. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is using a little bit of hot glue here and there just to attach some of them so they don't move around so much and just feeding it through, looping it around and around until it's all the way covered. Um, now when I first went through, I didn't actually um, cover the whole thing. I left some of it green because I was thinking kind of like, oh, Wicked Witch of the West, I'll leave part of it green. But my Wicked sign was a little too large for that. It kind of, it just didn't work. Um, and so I end up going back in later and re-threading um, through some more of the feather boa. Um, but right here, I just went ahead and adhered the wicked sign. So that wicked sign is supposed to go in your yard. It comes on a big, long, tall, wooden um, stick, basically. <laughs> and um, you're supposed to stick it in your grass or your yard somewhere, in your garden maybe. Um, but I decided that I was just going to break that stick part off and use it as a sign. Um, then it took all of the work out of it for me with having to do any sort of wording or anything like that. Um, so I used hot glue. That's my adhesive for everything here. Um, and I went ahead and at attached that to the wreath form and to the uh, feathers. And then I attached those butterflies as well. Like I said, they just clip right on. There's nothing complicated about it at all. Um, but I did end up adding a little bit of hot glue after the fact. I did that off camera um, just to make sure that they didn't come off. Um, I just felt better knowing that they were actually secured with some sort of adhesive. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys, that is really all there is to this wreath. As you can see, like I said earlier, I am going back through to just thread that extra boa through. Um, and I am so excited to tell you guys that this project cost $6. Um, so I used six items from the Dollar Tree, and so then my total is $6. And I mean, you really can't beat that. These types of wreaths can cost like up to $80 at the store. Um, and sometimes you can get coupons and sometimes you can't. But if you can make it yourself for $6, I say, why the heck not? <laughs> um, it worked out really well. It was super, um, f it was fun. It was easy to make, all things considered. And um, I really had a good time making it. So I hope that you guys will give it a try as well. Um, and let me know if you do. Be sure to tag me on social media. You can tag me on Instagram at a card day's work. Um, and all of that information is linked down in the description below in case you don't have all of that already or you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, but I would love to see if you guys make a, a version of this or the same thing um, or if you put your own spin on it. I would love to see it. So um, be sure to tag me and let me know what you guys are making. Um, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this in the future. And be sure that you hit that little bell icon. Um, that way you'll get notified when I post new videos and also when I do live videos too. Um, if you have any questions or anything, drop a comment down below so that I can get back to you. And I will see you guys all in another video really soon. Have a great day. As part of an FTC disclosure, I do need to let you know that I was compensated for making this video. The description section down below does contain affiliate links and I will be compensated if you make a purchase after clicking on one of my links. Um, the funds that I make from my affiliate links go towards running my channel and my blog and this doesn't cost anything extra for you. I'd also like to let you guys know that all of the opinions expressed on my channel are my own and I did buy all of the supplies myself as well. Thanks so much and have a great day guys.